Aronia, or black chokeberry, is rapidly becoming one of the most often planted alternative fruit crops in the Midwest. Aronia is in the rose family and has been scientifically known as Aronia melanocarpa until just recently when it was reclassified as Photonia melanocarpa. The plant is referred to as black chokeberry, black aronia berry, aronia berry, or simply aronia. Most people recognize aronia as a landscape plant. Birds and animals love them. Aronia is a shrub that has been planted specifically for wildlife habitat because of its berry producing characteristics. Historically, aronia was known as one of the grandmother fruits. As the pioneers moved west across the United States, they collected native wild fruits, which traditionally the grandmothers prepared into jams and jellies to be used along the trail. Aronia was one of the more common trail fruits. Aronia is a very hardy plant, hardy to zone 3, and widely distributed throughout the eastern and midwestern United States. It is a deciduous woody shrub that can be grown in full sun to partial shade, but performs best in the full sun environment when cultivated for production. In this situation, increased sunlight helps promote uniform ripening and elevated sugar levels. In the spring, it has beautiful white flowers that develop into berries. The berries go from green early on to pink and finally turn a deep purple color later in the summer, ripening in late August or early September depending on the year. As fall approaches, the leaves turn a beautiful red and the deep purple berries hang onto the plant well into winter. Even though the fruit is referred to as a berry, it is actually considered a home fruit like its cousin the apple. During normal years, late spring frosts seldom affect aronia flowers and subsequent fruit set because they bloom well after the threat of frost is an issue. Depending on the variety of aronia grown, it grows to a height of 3 to 12 feet. The white flower clusters are self-fruitful, so a second variety is not necessary for pollination, but as with other fruit bearing crops, the second variety may increase the overall pollination and yield. An assortment of bees, including honeybees and many types of solitary bees, transfer the pollen between the flowers. The juice from the aronia berry is a very deep, rich, purple color. The juice is often used as a coloring agent in other fruit juices because of this, and it is also used as a dye because of its staining characteristics. It is becoming a more popular winemaking fruit because of the fruit's chemistry and the rich, deep purple color of the juice. Its juice chemistry makes it the perfect winemaking fruit. One of the most important characteristics of aronia is the high level of antioxidants found in the fruit. This makes the fruit and juice very attractive to the health and nutraceutical industry. A recent USDA study compared several different types of berries including aronia, elderberry, blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries. The aronia berry had the highest ORAC value of the compared berries. ORAC is the acronym for Oxygen Radical Absorbance Capacity. Essentially, the ORAC value equates to the antioxidant capacity of the berry. Aronia had a level of over 16,000, while cultivated blueberries came in at a level of just over 4,000. The elderberry's ORAC level was the next closest to aronia with a reading of just over 14,000. There are several varieties of aronia that are being planted commercially. These include Viking, Nero, Galajanka, and Mackenzie to name some of the most prominent. The Mackenzie was a variety developed in North Dakota and is specifically adapted to the Midwest climate. In the field situation, plant spacing varies depending on the variety of aroni being planted and whether or not the fruit will be harvested mechanically or by hand. Spacing between the rows is really determined by the type of equipment that will be used in the field. Are tractors, trucks, and mechanical harvesters going to be used? Realistically, between row spacings of less than 12 feet between center of plant and center of plant make for very tight maneuvering driving a tractor or truck through the field once plants have matured. Tighter between row spacings may be in order if smaller equipment is going to be used and if the fruit is going to be harvested by hand. Between plant spacing again is dictated by variety and whether or not the 
fruit will be harvested by hand or machine. If harvesting by machine, the plants should be planted close enough that they essentially grow together to create a continuous canopy with no gaps between the plants. If the fruit is going to be harvested by hand, oftentimes the plant spacing allows for a gap between neighboring plants to allow for whole plant fruiting and easy maneuvering around the plant during harvest. Early in the development of the Midwestern Aronia industry, there were few insects and disease issues that seemed to be a problem for producers. As the number of plants being planted has increased, plant-related issues have also increased. Wildlife can always be a problem, and the best way to deal with problem animals such as deer is to exclude them using fence to prevent the browsing damage. Most importantly, protecting newly planted plants. Turkeys and other birds can also be a problem as the fruit ripens and it may be necessary to net the crop to reduce damage to the crop and loss of berries. Some insects that have been identified as a problem or potential problem include fruit worms, Japanese beetles, stink bugs, spider mites, grasshoppers, brown marmorated stink bug, and others. Regular scouting of the crop will help catch the problems early on allowing for early intervention and reduce damage to the crop. Unlike traditional agronomic crops, aronia and other specialty crops are not afforded the luxury of a readily available market. Marketing considerations should be taken into account when considering planting all specialty crops. Aligning yourself with other growers, extension personnel, and grower organizations can be of great benefit when addressing production and marketing strategies. The Midwest aronia industry has a great producers association in place to support producers. The Midwest Aronia Growers Association strives to provide support to the industry throughout the Midwest by sponsoring educational opportunities throughout the region. Information about this organization can be found at MidwestAronia.org.